Morning. Hope you're well. Today I'm smoking my Radici silk cup, and in it is some um, Gareth and Hogarth number twenty-seven flick. If I recall correctly, this is part of the reunion series. Um, I think we've got three in that. The number 27 flake, the bourbon flake, and there's a third one, I'm not too sure. I must have bought this sample about four or five months ago. Um, I think I bought 50 grams and been slowly working my way through. But if I show you the cut of the tobacco, One big flick left. Don't know if you can see it, but the sugar crystals layered the whole entire way through this. The cut of the tobacco was really nice. Nice classic Gabba flake. But those sugar crystals, you see there's just every single inch of it. So, so far, it's been smoking pretty well. A few of you have heard me mention, kind of, I feel a lot of people in the UK, especially, or probably solely in the UK, um, second light, um, overlook Sam Gareth and Gareth and Hogarth blends. Purely, f not for the reason that they're bad blends or anything like that, just because they're always available to us. And as we know, with tobacco, anything can change any day. We, we don't know what's to come with re regulations, laws, um, availability of crops, as we've seen in the past year. The availability of certain products has become really hard. Um, so we, we just, but, but also we, we don't know how, how long these brands are going to be around for. Um, and I know personally, if I look at my cellar, although it's not a mass cellar by any means, it's actually a very small cellar in comparison to many, many other people. I've only been building my cellar for maybe about the best part of eight, eight or nine months. Um, I've got, I think, five tins of full Virginia Flake. And that's about it. That's the only Simon Gareth, Gareth and Hogarth blend I've got. Whereas I regularly smoke St. James Flake. Um, and I've been enjoying this blend too. Um, but I feel that people in the UK, anyway, overlook them in the sense that we sell other things that are maybe hard to get or we get from the States or from Germany or Denmark, for example. And because it's always available, like I have never not went to buy a tin of Sam Gareth or a loose pouch of any flake or cut that Gareth makes and not been able to get it. I've always been able to get it and you can easily get it in the 500 gram boxes too. Um, So in that case, just word of thought for a lot of people in the UK especially, because I know in the States especially, it's the same of us to get Germains here these days, to get Gareth blends in the States is extremely hard. Uh, I think there was a recently a drop, not on the long ago. But if I remember, that was the first one for many, many months. And obviously it goes fast. Um, like everything, that's it. That's it. Um, in demand. Um, but yeah, so just if there's some Gareth blends, Gareth Hogarth blends that you'd love and you do like, sell them. Buy a few here and there to put away because you never know. Uh, that's what I'm going to try to do now. Um, especially with this blend. So we get back to the blend. Obviously, it comes in flake form. Uh, it comes in loose, like 
pretty much, I think, all of the Gavin Hogarth blends, bar maybe three or four, come in tins too. Uh, it comes in bulk, loose cut. Um, I think you can get in any size form, and they do come in 500 gram factory boxes, which are nice, um, but expensive. <laughs> um, some Virginia Perique Flake. Couldn't tell you, well, I can tell you this has eight, six months of age on it because that's why I originally bought the 50 grams. Um, but I couldn't tell you how much age it had on prior. But the amount I do remember when I originally got this, it did have shoe crystals on it already. Again, I'm not sure how long, I think this was on GTU Tobacco if they had this certain amount, but. The, the flake almost comes pre aged and it tastes, and you can get that flavour in the taste. Nice and smooth, very well blended. Um, I'd say the schmick hit is about medium. Initially, it doesn't start off with much, but as it progresses through the bowl, it definitely do pick up um, a bit of nicotine. Not the spiciest vapor blend in the world, but it's got a nice, nice little depth to it. I don't, I don't really get any floralness. Um, so you know, I'm not a fan of Lakelands at all. That's why a lot of San Gareth, no, a lot of Gavin Hogarth blends, I just don't really touch it's because the majority of them are cased. This one isn't cased. Uh, just a straight between your on this one. And the downside to any gallon holger blend is you need to light it about 40 times or dry it out for two weeks. Um, I mean, this blend, honestly, has been in this pouch for three months, maybe, and it's still wet. Still a lot of moisture in it, loads. But I suppose that's probably down to like, if I look at my temperature gauge, I've got a temperature gauge and a humidity gauge in the workshop. It's a, just an electronic one. It's just now at 65% humidity. And that's what I kind of get across the board. It never really goes below say 50, and never really goes above 70 in here. Um, and obviously you, you aren't advised to, but you could probably leave a pouch of tobacco out for months and it'd be fine. I don't think it would make much difference um, because of the relative humidity in the air. Um, obviously for a long, long time you would definitely obviously wouldn't do that, but here it doesn't make too much difference. <clears throat> I think that's my girlfriend just about to leave and hear the car starting. Um, but yeah, so overall, really nice blend. Uh, one to deepen the cellar with, I think. Get a good few, good few hundred grams off. But I can see aging really well. Let's see if this cup of tea is too hot yet. Yep, Christ. Lip scalded. I love these insulated mugs, mugs, or cups. This is a Stumptown Coffee Roasters. A lot of people from the States might recognise it. Um, I wouldn't say it's a boutique. Yeah, you would say it's a boutique brand. I think they may have got maybe. 10, 11 shops, coffee shops across the, the states. Um, really good quality coffee. I got that was when I was in New York, maybe, well, it must be about five years ago now. But it's one of the insulated mugs that you forget um, stay hot for two hours. So that, given the fact that that's 10 minutes old, that was probably a bit of a poor move by me. Um, 
But anyway, really nice blend. Highly recommend if you can get your hands on it. There's a few ones I want to try. I do want to try the, I think it's the Louisiana um, flake. It's another vapor. I imagine it's a, a, along some of similar lines as this. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. So I'm pretty sure it's just a straight Virginia Prig again. Um, but that is one I also want to compare to this. Because the two, like, if that is good, then I will sell out of that one too. But I'd like to know what one I preferred to then sell out in a better way. But I'm sure they're both good, as, as are most blends by Gareth. Um, yeah, hope you all enjoy that. Um, I'm good. Not not do more reviews as I wouldn't really say that was a review of the back of it. It's more just my opinion on it and what I was getting from it and my thoughts on Gareth and what you should do regarding the selling of it. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that, and I will catch you guys on the next one.